Tina Kato Kato. He Kato who Mataranga Aho. Melissa Densler Tokoingua. Kia ora. My name is Melissa Densler and I'm Education Advisor at NZCER. And this short presentation will introduce the refreshed PAT Pānui PAT Reading Comprehension. This whakatauki really captures an underlying principle of our kaupapa. When properly interpreted and used in conjunction with other information and evidence you gather to build the data narrative of your learner, the results from PAT Pānui can provide kaiako, ākonga and whānau with an understanding of where individual ākonga are in their reading comprehension development. PAT Pānui is a series of tests designed specifically for use in schools in Aotearoa, New Zealand. In 2023, they were extensively updated and refreshed. This brief kōrero will cover a number of key aspects of the refresh. We'll discuss the equity and inclusive focus of PAT Pānui, the reports these PATs generate, ways to track and monitor groups of learners, and an explanation of the changes to the range of texts and text types. PAT Pānui assessments are part of a suite of standardised assessments that were developed by NZCER specifically for learners in years 4 to 10. These assessments are research-based and have been carefully developed for use in Aotearoa New Zealand English medium contexts. Each assessment can be used at multiple year levels and achievement is reported on a common measurement scale. PAT Pānui are designed to support kaiako and tumuaki to understand where ākonga are at in their learning at a specific point in time, identify what progress ākonga are making, identify patterns of strengths and areas of next steps for individuals and groups of learners, make informed decisions about the kinds of teaching methods, programs and materials that are most suitable for their learners, and to communicate with whānau about ākonga progress, strengths and next steps. Equity and assessment. The refresh was guided by a strong commitment to equity. An equitable education system recognises that some ākonga are advantaged compared with others and focuses on providing appropriate resourcing and pathways that allow those without the same advantages to succeed. It also recognises that they can succeed. Research has shown that equity related factors play a major role in the reading achievement of ākonga in Aotearoa New Zealand. Assessment practices and differences and opportunities for learning have contributed to these inequitable outcomes. In our refresh of PAT Pānui, we're committed to ensuring that its assessment resources support and cater for ākonga underserved by the education system. The assessments are more culturally relevant, more relevant to Aotearoa and more accessible. The PAT Pānui assessments comprise seven comprehension tests aimed at a specific level. However, reading comprehension involves a complex and developing set of skills which ākonga may not master at the same pace. The level of the test can be selected that best suits the individual learner. Each of the refreshed assessments has been designed with a year level in mind, years 4 to 10. However, each assessment can be used productively at other year levels. Again, it's important because ākonga of the same age can be at very different positions. These assessments are available to use online this year and print versions of the refresh will be available in 2025. 
So what's changed? PAT Pānui texts have been updated so that a wider range of Aukonga see themselves and their cultural and social worlds reflected in the assessments. A broader range of texts has been used in the tests. These include contemporary New Zealand junior fiction, Māori, Pacific cultures, family and community, personal experiences, observations and opinion pieces. Young authors have also been included. Home, environmental and community settings have been prioritised over school-based contexts. Where possible, principles and values such as mahitahi, tiakitanga and manakitanga are represented within items. Contexts are realistic and relatable. For example, people from a range of cultures are depicted and people with different physical abilities are represented. The comprehension processes targeted by the questions have been expanded and reclassified from three attributes to five, providing more information about comprehension skill development. We have updated the look and feel of the online tests to make them more accessible and straightforward to use and navigate. Kupu Māori and Pacific language words, which are frequently used and widely understood, appear in the texts without translation. Less familiar kupu appear alongside their English equivalents. Glossaries of Māori and Pacific kupu have been included within the appendices of the Kayako Guide. Question types. A range of question types have been used to ensure a wide range of comprehension skills are assessed. As mentioned, for the new tests, the number of question types have been broadened from the original three types to five. The questions associated with texts that have been retained from the last update have been reclassified to one of these five types. The five types are described as retrieval. Retrieval questions require comprehension without needing to make any inference so that the answer within the text can be matched to the wording of the question. Very few questions are true retrieval questions. Local inference. Local inference questions require comprehension of implied information from within relatively small sections of text. The answers are straightforward and localised, but require some inference where the answer is not explicitly stated in the text. Complex inference questions require Akonga to connect information from different sections of text to draw an inference. Complex inferences may require linking of more than one idea or phrase in analysis to identify the best answer. Interpret and integrate. Interpret and integrate questions integrate ideas and information making sense of the intent and developing a more complete understanding of the entire text. At this level of inference, Akonga use their own experience and understanding to unpack more abstract ideas and meanings within a text. And finally, critique and evaluate. Critique and evaluate questions require Akonga to draw upon knowledge of language use, presentational features, and general or genre-specific features of texts and understanding of how the language and features determine the meaning or purpose. These questions might be about how the writer achieves a particular purpose or meaning. The Kayako Guide also has some specific examples of all these. Timing. The whole assessment, including administration, is designed to take no more than 60 minutes to complete. It may take some Akonga 40 minutes or less. As the test is about how well Akonga comprehend the meaning of what they read, time's not being measured, and Kayako should use their discretion if Akonga need more time to finish their test. Selecting the right level of test for each Akonga should ensure that the test can be completed within the recommended time 
of 45 minutes. Reading the assessments to Akonga. These assessments provide a measure of how well Akonga can comprehend what they have read independently without additional support. Reading the text and questions to Akonga or using text to speech technology to read it to them might be useful and appropriate in some situations where the focus of the test is how well Akonga comprehends separately from decoding or fluency difficulties they may experience. It's important, however, to realise that assisting Akonga to decode will change how the results should be interpreted. The scores will not necessarily reflect how well they can understand what they have read independently. Any normative comparisons will be with Akonga who did not have this assistance. Kayako should consider this when interpreting and sharing test results with Akonga and Fano. PAT Pānui assessments are just one source of evidence of learning and provide a snapshot at a particular moment in time. To be properly interpreted, the results should be supplemented by other forms of information about the progress and achievement of each Akonga. The NZCR Assist platform is used to manage the administration, marking and reporting of the test and can be used to generate a wide range of reporting at the individual, group and school level. Scores on each of the tests can be converted to a location on the PAT Pānui Comprehension Scale, which is also qualitatively described. This means that scale scores can be linked to a description of the kinds of reading comprehension capabilities that are typically associated with scoring at different parts of the scales. Scale scores are supplemented with normative information in the form of stay nines so that test results can be compared with the scores of a nationally representative reference group at specific year levels. The ASSIST platform also gives you the ability to track and monitor groups of learners. You can track and monitor a group of Akonga by creating a class, for example, Monitoring Year 6. You can view a class as a group. Akonga can be in multiple classes and this won't impact school-wide reports. These reports can be generated specifically for these groups of Akonga using the filters. Remember, Akonga should only sit one assessment in a term. A key feature that can sometimes be overlooked is the preview function. Kayako are able to view the test so there are no surprises, they know the content, and have considered if this assessment is right for their Akonga. The preview icon can be found on the Actions dashboard. The ASSIST platform can also generate a number of reports for different purposes. At class level, there are list reports, individual student reports, item reports, individual items, and stay nine reports. At school-wide level, there are aggregated, progress over time, and learner progress reports available. The PAT Pānui PAT Reading Comprehension Kayako Guide is available online on our website, and it provides detailed information for Kayako and Tumuaki. Thank you for taking the time to familiarise yourself with PAT Pānui assessments. We hope this presentation has been useful. Our education advisors offer a range of advisory support. If you would like more information about the support we offer, please contact us on education.advisor at nzcer.org.nz. Kia pai tōra.